Well, 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 the T20 World Cup has come to an end. Nail biting stuff. A very entertaining game. <sighs> I tell you, I wanted South Africa to win. I have my own reasons for wanting them to win. But I have to say hats off to India. They showed character and they showed a lot of fight. You understand? They were able to peg South Africa back. And I mean, with 45 overs remaining in the game, India, they were staring defeat right in the eyes. But they were, they were able to peg it right back. Going to take a look at the scorecards. I'm going to talk a little bit. I tell you, um, in my opinion, those were the two best teams in the tournament. And as a result of that, we got a very entertaining final. Very entertaining. Now, Virat Kohli, somebody who was under a lot of pressure, you know, he came through in the final. And that is why they say, you know, class is permanent and permanent and farm is temporary. Right? Come at the hour, come at the man. Virat Kohli, he scored the runs for them. So we're going to go through the scorecards a little bit. Um, so it was a high-scoring game, you can say, you know, for a, for a T20 World Cup final, it was a high-scoring game. I think it's the highest um, total uh, to be posted by a team batting first in a, in, a, in a T20 World Cup final. So 176 for 7 is what um, India made. They were restricted to that 176. I mean, they fought back with the bat also, not only the ball, because at one point, South Africa had them at 30 odd for 3. You understand? And they were able to pick it back. So 176 for 7. And as I said earlier, Virat Kohli, he was the man with the bat for them. Um, he was able to pick things back. Uh, let me just go through this batting lineup here. Rohit Sharma, the man who has been uh, clicking for them for, for the entire tournament. He made 9. Virat Kohli, 76 from 59. 6 fours and um, 2 sixes. Richard Pant didn't score. Sir Kumar Yadav made three. And Aksar Patel, he was looking extremely good. Yes, my people. Until he got run out by um, Quinton Lecoq. He made 47 for uh, 31. 1-4 one and um, he had four sixes. Now, Dube, he made 27. Pandya was left not out on five. Now, bowling for South Africa. Um, Jensen, he took some beating. <laughs> he got one for 49 from four overs. Um, Maharaj had two for 23 from his three overs. We saw Kisha uh, Rabada with one for 36 from four overs. Uh, Aiden Markram bowled two overs for 16 runs. And we saw um, Anrik Nakia getting two for 26 from four. Uh, he was supported by Shamsi with three overs for 26 runs. So... That is basically how it went there for um, India. They were 23 for 1. Uh, then it was 23 for 2, 34 for 3, 106 for 4, 163 for 5, 174 for 6, 176 for 7. And that is basically where it ended there. I personally think that at the break, South Africa were thinking that, you know, it was probably about 20 or so runs too, too many right there, you know, too much. They, they, they gave away... Um, some, some runs in the back in there. Uh, batting for South Africa, Quinton Lecoq, he looked dangerous until, you know, he fell right into a trap that Roy Sharma set. He made 39 of 31. Uh, Hendricks made four. Aiden Marker made four. Tristan Stubbs was looking good also until he played an ill-advised shot. He made 31 from 21. Klassen, he showed exactly why he's so highly rated in the T20 format with 52 from 27. But the way how he got out, I know that he will be beating himself on that one. Um, David Miller, he made 21 from 17. The finisher, he was unable to finish um, this for them. Uh, Pandya got him out. First ball of the final over. You know, low full toss, looking to go down the ground. The boat was removed. Um... You know, by a, a spectacular catch by, I think it was Sir Kumar Yadav that uh, took that catch. Uh, you know, Marco Jensen made two. Uh, Maharaj was left not out on two. Rabada four. Nakia uh, left not out on one. So 169 for eight is all they were able to muster in those 20 overs. Now, bowling for uh, India, Arshdeep Singh, he had two for 20 from his four overs. Bumrah. 
Boomer, 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 Boomer. Boomer bowled four overs, two wickets, 18 runs. At one point, I was wondering if Sharma gave it away when you know, I was saying that Boomer should have. I think it was uh, Aksar Patel that bowled that over when I was saying Boomer should have um, came back for his third over, but you know, he, he, it, everything worked out. So Boomer, two, uh, four overs, two wickets, 18 runs. Um, Patel, four overs, 49 runs, one wicket. Kuldeep Yadav, his four overs cost him 45 runs. Pandya, three overs, 20 runs. He picked up three wickets. Yes, three wickets. Uh, Jadeja had one over for 12 runs. So that is basically how the bowling went. No, this is how they lost the wicket. Seven for one, 12 for two, 70 for three. From 70 for three, they went all the way up to 106 for four. You know, when uh, Quinton de Kock was removed. Uh, then it was up to 151 for 5, 156 for 6, 161 for um, one sixty one for 7. And from there, they went up to 168 for 8. And, you know, uh, they got another single there to leave it at 169 for 8 from 20 overs. So that is how the T20 World Cup final went, my viewers and subscribers. India. Uh, getting getting the victory there. I think that is what seventeen years maybe in the waiting in in making. Um, but uh, South Africa taking a, another step closer, one step closer to the title. You know they still have um, quite a few of their players that will be sticking around. But you know um, it's always tough on South Africa when it comes on to major tournaments. You know they usually uh, perform produce some good performances. You know, and then in the latter stages, you would say that why well, they choke. I wouldn't say that they choke. I, I wouldn't say that they choke in this game. You know, it's just that the last four, four to five overs, when I thought they were just going to cruise across, you understand, Boomer came back and he did well, and Pandya came and he did well. You know, so it was two good teams. Um, I would, I, I love my team, and I would, I, I, the emotional side of me would say that West Indies, had the best team and we should have won and all of them foolishness but the brain would say listen india and south africa they played the best cricket you understand india um mostly because south africa they had a couple close games but india you know going unbeaten they were pretty convincing in their games you understand i know that um on another day things could have gone differently but we're talking about today today we're talking about and um, it was a good final. It was an entertaining final. One team had to win, and one team, you know, will have to uh, would have had to hold the lose inside. So I just saw the thing said. But yeah, just wanted to give you a quick recap of the scorecard. I'm gonna say bless up.